I'd just like to introduce you to the new bounce program that's available on the Megapoints controllers. This works with O gauge and double O gauge, in fact any gauge you can wire up a servo to. The three on the left were made by Bolton's Bits, you can find them online, and it's a rather nice example of an O gauge semaphore. And the two on the right are standard Hornby. With servos underneath, it just works and installation is a breeze. On the Megapoints controller now, instead of just pressing reverse to reverse the function and a red light coming on continuously, it'll now flash and it'll flash one, two, three or four times. If it flashes once or twice, this indicates it's running a points program in normal or reverse. If it flashes three or four times, it indicates it's running the semaphore bounce program in normal or reverse. And there's a mixture of normal and reverse programs running on the board right now. So let's move everything back to clear. And if I operate the one at the top right, you can see it's bouncing. And as it rises, you can see the signalman where he takes up the slack in the cable. That's also randomized and it moves to clear. The bounce down is random, so how many bounces you get, the intensity of the bounce and how long it lasts, they're chosen at random every time you operate it. Move to clear, and up, bounce. Move to clear, and clear. Quite a delay on it that time. The bounce uses a real physics model, and you can really see the inertia being sucked out as the weight falls and pulls the signal to danger. Bouncy. Let's try it again. Slightly less. Quite a lot that time. Oh, almost nothing. So it does vary. A little bit of variety thrown in for free. And there's a lower quadrant signal. And let's look at the double O gauge. Distant to clear, near to clear. Setting the endpoints on the semaphore is the same as setting for points. You go into programming mode and you just adjust it using the high and low buttons as you would a set of points till you get just what you want. And then store it. I'll show you how easy it is to set up a semaphore. I've gone to my test rig and I've stuck a little pseudo semaphore signal on the left just to make things easier to see. I've just factory reset this controller so everything moves by default 90 degrees. You see everything working the same. What I'll do now is I'll go through the programming and I'll set up the semaphore bounce for output number one. Select programming once and this time I'll press the reverse button until the reverse light flashes three times. Three flashes on the red light. So now I have the semaphore bounce set up on output number one. This works best when the servo arm moves 45 degrees. It seems to be the best compromise of resolution and speed. So what I'll do now is I'll move the semaphore so that it stops horizontal like it is now and on the way up at clear stops at 45 degrees. Back to programming and I'll adjust the endpoints using the low and high buttons. Down, 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 that looks good. And then up, 45 degrees and we're done. Yep, it's that easy. Okay, let's have a look at it now. Signals are clear and down. Up signal to clear 
and you see the bounce is subtly different every time. As is the move to clear. And this unit is so flexible you can have any mixture of points or semaphores operating at the same time. Let's bring some more semaphores on. In fact, let's make them all semaphores. So there we are set for set 12 semaphore signals. Let's bring on the memory and clear. You see the 12th output here, that servo is reversed. So instead of selecting out, uh, instead of selecting program three, I'll select program four. Now everything's going the same way. Bouncing at the bottom, moving to clear. As I didn't set the endpoints on outputs two to 12, it's going through 90 degrees. But can you see how the other 11 don't affect the first one I've set up? Let's run through a few cycles on using the memory feature and we'll see how the bounces differ each time. Couple at the top being quite bouncy there. So Megapoints controller does even more for you now.